Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, Surviving Mars stream. Uh, with me I have Robin Sederholm mm -hmm. and Hi. you are? Uh, I'm the lead producer for Surviving Mars. Yes, and not the first time you're in this stream. Nope. Definitely and uh, my name is Sebastian and I am a product marketing manager working with Surviving Mars. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we are having this uh, kind of Q&A stream is because we want to follow up uh, on the last one that we had, uh, yep. which we had shortly after we released Surviving Mars, where we made, uh, we gave you guys a content roadmap of mm -hmm. what we kind of have had in mind uh, mm -hmm. in the pipeline uh, on coming updates and such. Mm -hmm. And we want to follow that up and uh, just give you an update of what, what is coming uh, in the close future. Yeah. Uh, so I guess, uh, and also, uh, you should also know that this stream will end at uh, 15 minutes earlier than yes. uh, usual. So it's gonna, go going to run for 45 minutes. Uh, so we're going to start about talking about what's coming. Uh, and we're going to end with uh, you guys uh, asking a lot of questions. Uh, and we Robin basically uh, <laughs> answering them. Uh, because I don't have any technical knowledge, but Robin does. Um, some. Some, some. Uh, all right, so uh, we'll, we'll just get started with talking about what we kind of promised you guys uh, in terms of the, the content that is coming uh, shortly after the, uh, the, the launch. Uh, so Nurgle, if you could please put up, yeah, there we got it. Mm -hmm. uh, the kind of content roadmap where we, uh, we promised technical patches. Yes. Uh, we promised an improved colony overview UI, yep. less micromanagement, in-game tutorial, mm. UI streamlining, passages, mm -hmm. which I think is a pretty popular uh, topic yes, right now uh, in the community, additional difficulty options and improved modding. Mm -hmm. uh, we can start about talking about the first update that has come out to PC, yeah. which yeah. we dubbed Spirit. Yes. Uh, so Spirit was the first, I mean there was a couple of patches uh, before that point where we solely just fixed some critical uh, issues for you guys. Uh, but Spirit was the first bigger update. Um, and in Spirit, other than of course that patch as well contained some uh, bug fixes and other polish for the game. But we also uh, made a lot of uh, improvements for modding in that one. Uh, so basically we uh, primarily made sure that uh, the code base was more exposed so people would be able to uh, read and make more um, uh, more uh, advanced mods, basically. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of the, the main point uh, of Spirit, uh, which was still probably the smaller one of all the updates we had planned. Yeah. Um, and Spirit has not been released for console yet. No, uh, not yet. And why, why is that? Well, uh, I mean, we've talked about this before, uh, but uh, I understand that it needs to be said many times. Um, that the reason that we haven't released anything for consoles yet is because we had to get a lot of things um, done for the PC first. Uh, and it takes more time for us to get the updates out on console. Uh, should also be mentioned that there has been a few slip-ups on our end where it's taken a bit more time than it should have. Um, so we have a bigger update for consoles coming soon. Uh, once that is out, console players should not expect to be waiting as long as they have now for future updates past that point. So we're really sorry uh, that you guys have been waiting uh, for longer than you should. Uh, which uh, kind of uh, leads us on to uh, the more fun subject mm -hmm. that we're going to talk about now. Mm -hmm. And that is the opportunity update. Yes. That we actually have a date for, for you guys. We do. Uh, so now it should be up on screen. So the opportunity update is coming out on Wednesday next week, April 25th. Uh, this is for PC first, um, and uh, it will contain the passages, so you will be able to connect your domes. Uh, in this update. Uh, as you can see in the little screenshot there as well, there is a, another utility as well, which is called the ramps, which is essentially just a bridge that you'll be able to build across your uh, passages to make sure that vehicles can still um, go across of it. Um, there's also a bunch of new buildings in this update. Um, most of these are kind of quality of life stuff. Uh, so you have a couple of new workshops that will allow colonists to work their vocations. Primarily towards, this will be more relevant towards uh, later stages of the game. It essentially provides more fulfilling um, jobs for your colonists um, once you reach a point where 
the other kind of more uh, necessary jobs uh, aren't as needed anymore because you're kind of doing okay at this point. Uh, there's also some new storage areas. This is also a late game convenience feature, which essentially allows you to store a lot more resources in a single storage. Uh, so it's a lot more practical. So for people uh, who are watching now who are console owners, mm -hmm. can they expect the improvements of uh, Spirit to be implemented into this patch? Yes, so the, the first update coming out on consoles uh, very, very soon, trademark. Um, will contain both the spirit uh, and opportunity um, updates. Rolled so, into one big yes. package. So once that update rolls out, consoles will be on par with PC at that point. Yeah. Um, cool. Um, so... Um, Actually, um, before we continue, I should probably mention the game rules as well, as yeah, part of yeah. opportunity. Expand upon the great game rules that <laughs> we're putting in. Yes. Uh, so this is essentially options for you uh, to make your playthrough a little bit harder or sometimes easier. So this will essentially be different modifiers uh, that you'll be able to take as you set up your game in case you want a like a more challenging challenge or at least a different kind of challenge. Uh, this will be moddable as well. Yep. So we expect quite a lot of people will probably add a lot of other cool game rules in there as well. Cool. And uh, of course, the opportunity update will will also come with various minor bug fixes uh, and yes. other kind of polish, uh, po polish balancing yes. uh, and the kind of stuff that you can always expect from this kind of update. Yes. Um, so that's we we are super excited about this. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy that we managed to get out passages uh, this quickly because it is quite a complicated and big uh, undertaking. To yes, do. I mean it impacts a lot of different aspects of the game, so it's, it takes a while to get it right. Cool. Um, so mm -hmm. uh, we've talked about opportunity. We've mm -hmm. talked about th what this, what was promised before, and which of these things uh, kind of adhere to that. What mm -hmm. was promised. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, of course, not the only free update that is coming. No. We have another free update that we don't want to talk about just yet. No. Uh, because it's going to be... It's stupid if we say, you know, timeline or anything about that before yeah. we actually know. And we want to keep you guys on, on your toes. Yes, uh, but there's more stuff coming. There is more stuff coming and the free DLC uh, will come as well, yes. of course. Yes. Uh, in not too long. Mm. Um, so, uh, obviously, um, do you, do you do you have anything more that you kind of want to bring up uh, from a technical standpoint before we start taking questions? Um, I mean, uh, there might be comments, but on the other hand, I think a lot of stuff is going to be covered in the Q and A as well. Yeah, uh, I think uh, if something actually pops up, I'll just mention it as we're doing the Q and A as well. I think. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Um, so, guys. I think this actually went quicker than I thought it That's would. That's usually how it goes. It's usually how it goes. You're o you're always thinking when you're planning these yeah, things. Yeah, like five oh, minutes. We're gonna need five, five minutes. minutes for the content <laughs> roadmap. Blah blah blah. That that was over in about thirty seconds. Yes. Uh, so I guess we can just start taking questions. I think so. Right now, right? Yeah. So guys, if you have any questions, please ask them, and we'll uh, we'll try to answer them as honestly and openly as we possibly can. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so we have one from Rigel uh, TX. Mm -hmm. Will passages require a tech research, or v will it be available at the start? It will be available at the start. Some of the new buildings might require uh, technologies to unlock. But will uh, will it uh, will it have uh, resource requirements? I mean, it's it's not going to be like uh, electrical cables. It's more going to be. Uh, like it's going to be, but it's a very small cost uh, of metal. Yeah, basically. Uh, Will there be non-optional increase to uh, difficulty, asks Knockfinger. Uh, no, not at this point. Uh, but we are aware that a lot of people feel they want more challenge out of the game. Uh, but it's going to take us a little while before we actually start being able to provide you guys with something. Uh, so these first game rules that we added was kind of a was something that we could get out pretty quickly. Um, and it's just a start, so don't think that that was our sort of our fix to make the game much more challenging for the players that want that experience. Mm. Uh, um, 
Have you been dishonest up to this point? Ursus asks. No. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> but on the other hand, if we were, you wouldn't be able to tell if we're lying right now. <laughs> This might be all one big ruse. <laughs> um, so, uh, Adven uh, Ad Adventuras uh, asks, what are the new buildings again? Uh, so, uh, it's a couple of new workshops, as they're called, uh, which allows uh, colonists to basically employ themselves uh, creatively. So, you would have an art workshop, for example, where you colonists would essentially s do sculpture and uh, painting and stuff like that to basically fulfill um, their time. Uh, this is a good building for the late game, where colonists will typically have less uh, required work to actually do. Uh, there's going to be additional storage spaces as well, uh, depots, that will be able to store uh, a lot more uh, resources in a single storage area. They will be very efficient, once again also good for the late game. Uh, there's a bigger water tank, there's a rocket landing pad that doesn't kick up, uh, that reduces the dust kick up uh, when the rocket lands, which a lot of people have been requesting. Uh, and there is something more, but now I can't remember it. So w what is what is uh, about these workshops? What is the actual purpose of them? Is it to like reduce sanity level or increase sanity yeah, level? Essentially, or? yeah, it makes your colonists uh, happier and it gives them something to do uh, rather than them just w w walking around being unemployed. Mm. Um, so it's uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so. Uh, A, a sneaky ninja one asks: Any chance of us getting terraforming tools to allow us make uh, to make more area buildable? Uh, any chance? Yes, there is a chance, but it's currently not something um, that's on the roadmap for the the, 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 the near nearby future. future. But it's been talked about on our end. <laughs> uh, Harlot87 asks Vegan workshop confirmed? <laughs> well, just I don't know, check Steam workshop soon enough yeah. Probably Yeah, it's, There's probably going to be a mod for that Yes um, uh, Let me see um, uh, The software samurai question Is it possible to add a time To graduate per student To the schools slash universities? This has actually been discussed Um I can't give a more firm answer than that at this point, primarily because I don't know, but we actually talked about that as well, that we thought this was something that could, would be needed uh, or it would be make things more convenient for the player. Uh, so it's entirely possible that you might see that sometime uh, in the future, but yeah. it's it's not in the opportunity patch, so yeah. to speak. Not in the opportunity patch, but it might show up uh, yes. at a later, later point. Uh, Axion CDM asks a question that might be hard to answer, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see. What kind of optimizations ah. are in opportunity? Uh, it's very difficult for me to respond to. I know that we, from time to time, there is uh, work done on the optimization front. Typically, that happens as a result of us trying to figure out specific issues related to hardware, um, which sometimes results in a general optimization. Uh, But I'm not aware of anything specifically. That doesn't mean that there isn't a bit of optimization in there, but there's nothing major as far as I know. Um, uh, Talaith1 asks, will passages allow people to work in a different dome to where they live? Yes. The answer is a simple yes to yes. that question. Yes, they will. Uh, Harlot87 asks, more more radio stations when? <laughs> <laughs> well, probably sometime soon. This is also something we're discussing. A lot of people in the community have been responding really well to the radio station, which is super fun. Yeah. Uh, and we're definitely looking into adding more content to that. Um, when? We'll have to see. Uh, Leto asks, hello, will there be any more disasters, building problems, etc. make the game less straightforward? Mm, you're basically asking for more uh, entropy, like things getting harder and things being more tricky. Entirely possible. Um, I mean, some of the stuff we've been talking about, I mean, what we've been doing now, mostly short term after launch, has been kind of like reacting to a lot of player feedback. Uh, we've had to focus on a few things, like in the short term. Um, there are, of course, more plans and more ideas uh, being floated around, and one of them has been, or 
several of them have been revolving around kind of how to make the game more challenging, how to add more um, interesting gameplay towards the sort of end game. I mean, it's a sandbox experience, so there's technically no end game, but most of you probably know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, it's stuff we've been talking about, but nothing firm yet. Um, Roydal asks, what's the plan about bug fixing? Maybe smaller bug fix only patches, but at higher frequency. Uh, this is something that sometimes happens, but typically... So what happens when we release a new update is that we're always prepared that we might need to push out a few hot fixes, like right on top of that patch, because even if we run a lot of QA on our end, uh, the player base is pretty big and it's a systems driven game. So there's a lot of edge cases and a lot of bugs that we discover, unfortunately, after uh, an update has gone out. And then we try to sort of get out uh, smaller patches uh, right on top of that. Other than that, there's currently no plan to, uh, like, as a plan to put out a lot of small patches in the coming future. But it is something that can happen from time to time if we feel that currently there is a little too many issues floating around out there. Not the most critical ones, but still, like, if you have enough of them, it starts getting annoying. Uh, so at that point, we would have a discussion on our end together with Heimemont and everything to see if, like, can we put out maybe one or two smaller patches here where we try to fix some of these more uh, prominent issues. Yeah. Um, let's see, let's see, what else do we have? Um, when uh, will the will the next update come, asks uh, Salen111111. So um, the next update is Opportunity, and as we talked in the beginning of the stream, but I realize a lot of people are coming in as we go. Uh, but the Opportunity update releases next week on Wednesday, uh, the 25th of yeah. April. Nurgle, maybe we can put up the, um, the image have in, the in, the in the background so yeah. that people can see them. The other one. So we can see the date. Yeah. There you go. There we go. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, will you add Easter egg terrain features at certain map coordinates, i.e. rovers, probes, Martian face mountain, references to books, movies like a giant potato, etc.? Asks <laughs> Keb Zero, our favorite uh, <laughs> returning customer. Uh, well, as a producer, I will never specifically ask the developers to do something like this, but if they decide to do it, that's fun. Hopefully they tell us about it first, so yeah. we just know what's going out. Yeah. Uh, but we we don't specifically plan for anything like that. That's typically stuff that kind of happens. It's kind of like the developers really wanted to rename the... Uh, the, the oh, God university to uh, the Hawking Institute I yeah think was the name uh, in tribute to Hawking and yeah they did yeah I think there was actually an earlier question are there any Stephen Hawking uh, mm. references yeah, there is in now. there there is now yeah um, as Asmo asks uh, do the new storages have a priority option for drones and shuttles also what about adding them to the small storages um no, I do not believe they do, saying that with a solid 95% certainty. Um, when you... S uh, priority options, so do you mean like you wanna... Could you perhaps specify exactly what you mean with priority option for this? I think probably what it means is that... Uh, or actually for storages. Yeah, yeah exactly. Do it for storages. I'm just kind of going... Uh, because... I don't know if you specifically want to sort of export or import out of the storage or what, but that's not a, it's not a priority. Asmo, uh, please specify and we'll yeah, try to we'll answer that. We'll try to notice when uh, you give another comment just to clarify and we'll respond. Yeah. Um, le let us see, we had a, can we, can I, uh, Nurgle, can I scroll up a little bit? I saw there was an interesting question. Um, oh, there it is. Um, uh, how about KBNM support for consoles or otherwise complete rework how to find the info card is accessed with a controller? Asks Amdayek2. Give me a few seconds to try to understand the question properly as well. Uh, I'm not sure what you... Oh, keyboard and mouse, of course. Oh, God, I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, it's Well, it's actually been discussed at one point. Um, 
to add mouse and keyboard support to the consoles, uh, but we currently don't have it in our pipeline. That's all I can say at this point. Um, uh, Fatmonk74 asks, Great news about the passages with people living in one dome and working in another. Will this also mean people can enjoy other buildings in a dome they don't live in? Example, clever network of domes, center is the home dome and the outer web or work slash leisure domes. Mm. Yes, to a certain degree. Uh, there will be limitations to how far a colonist can travel um, to other domes, so you won't be able to basically connect 15 domes and the colonists will run around and use whatever is accessed through that network. There, it will be limited in distance uh, to a certain number of domes connected to each other. And I guess, I guess the inherent problem that would come if you had a kind of unlimited access would be that if a colonist decides that I want to go to the casino now mm. and the casino is yeah. at the far end of the map it will break have, the simulation it will break the simulation yeah. because they won't be able to get there before no. they they have to go to work or go to sleep or something else and then yeah. that starts happening so it. yes but limited in yes. how in how far they can yeah. they can go um, let me see uh, radioactive killer uh, asks, will the passageways work as pipes and power cables by transferring power, water and air through them? Uh, no, they won't. This is a separate structure. You will still have to set up power cables and pipelines separately. Um, uh, LT Sh uh, Shukrat asks, will there ever be a multiplayer option? Will there ever be an ability to have multiple colonies in one game in different zones? Uh... Well, the short answer, unfortunately, is no, but at the same time, it's kind of... We will probably never add multiplayer support in in the typical sense, uh, but you never know what happens in like two or three years uh, if we still support the game at that point, which we typically do if possible. Um, there might still be something added to the game where there is some form of interaction happening between uh, different players. But that's probably not going to be two players building a colony like on the same map or something like that. It might be something more abstract. Yeah, But it is very much like right now, no. Mm. Uh, no but who, who, who knows in three years? Yeah, right? exactly. Uh, and to what extent that would yes. be. It's uh, entirely f like fictional at, at this point. Yes, multiplayer is a big, big feature to add. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Sorokin asks, uh, can you add an option of adding difficulty, more drastic damage of me meteorites like totally destroying buildings or some other? Thanks. <laughs> uh, technically, I think we could. like With the, the game rules added, we now have a support structure uh, for adding different special rules yep. so for example adding higher damage to meteor impacts could be such a rule uh, could could those rule be mo rules be modded yes yeah so technically you know you could see a mod like that yes. after the the update comes yes in. i mean that being said it's not like we we assume that modders will do everything for us but adding making sure that people can mod the game we know that a lot of specific requests and stuff will kind of be fulfilled uh, because yeah. there will be there's more modders out there than we have developers here yeah. so um do you have uh, asmo asks uh do you have more plans for end game content uh yes there are some plans that i can't go into detail about as you can assume but yes there has been uh, stuff we have planned for the game that will impact the late game more than other stages of the game yeah um Sakotera asks, is there a maximum length to passages? Will services in domes only be effective for colonists if directly connected to their home dome to limit amount of hops and complexity? Uh, let's see. So first question was the um, is there a mass length maximum restriction. Length? Yes, yes, there is a length restriction because once again, like we mentioned before, there are limitations to how we can implement this feature because if a colonist travels for too long, it will start breaking the simulation. So we need to be careful uh, to make sure that they don't run around too much. Um, so yes, there will be a length restriction to the passages. And the follow-up question was, 
Uh, which one was this? Uh, Will services, services in domes only? only be effective for colonists if directly connected to their home dome? Uh, yes, so a colonist won't be able to run through several domes and reach a service that way. Uh, it needs to be connected to their uh, their place of habitation. So it kind of feels like, it, like passages uh, opens up for the possi possibility to create kind of like dome districts mm, rather yeah. than you know an entire vast yes, network I would filled in the entire thing right? i would say that's a more efficient way of using them yeah yeah um let, let's see if we have any more uh lt shukrat comes with another question will there ever be competing ai colonies maybe <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Uh, Nothing we can confirm at no, this point. No, but like compared to the multiplayer question, it's one of those like, no, there's no plans for this right now, but yep. uh, it, it could happen in the future. And I think something, well, I wouldn't dare answer. I think the lead programmer at Hemimont will have my head if I start saying stupid things. Yeah. No. Currently, so, there's no plans no. for it. Not yet. But it can happen. Yeah. Um,. Tuchanka the Great asks, have you thought about adding trading with other Mars colonies later in the game? Note, have you thought of it? Yes. <laughs> well, I've <laughs> thought about it. I've thought about many things uh, during the two years working on this. Um, well, yeah, I've thought about it. Uh, we've discussed certain ideas that are very close to this, but not exactly. But on the other hand, if the other ideas we talked about would actually happen, then this would be something that wouldn't be too far-fetched. Uh, but currently, it's not something we have in the pipeline. Um, uh, KOCZH asks, uh, I would be interested to know what you consider slash define early game, mid game and sure. late game. Uh, I mean, I'm going to wing this a little bit because the definition is like there's no, uh, we don't in the development or anything have specific uh, early, mid, late game definitions, but we have a pretty good idea of kind of how you move through these. Uh, there was actually, a, um, we had rough ideas of different phases of a colony evolution uh, as we designed the game but so early game for me is would be essentially up until the point that you built your first dome and you start getting colonists in uh, mid mid game is kind of when you're expanding the colony i think in this particular sense the mid game feels a bit like longer it's like you're setting up multiple domes you're expanding and setting up uh, new satellite parts of your colony kind of spreading out more um, and this is also during the mid game that you would be interacting more with uh, the mystery uh, primarily. I would say that late game is then defined kind of by how uh, you're reaching the end part of the mystery and you've finished the mystery. Um, you reach a point where survival is not as uh, tangible anymore uh, and you're basically, you have a really big colony and you are reaching, if you're not already there, you're pretty close to being self-sufficient in some form. That's how I would define it. Um, so, uh, just for, for uh, everyone who, who came in uh, late, mm -hmm. uh, what we're doing today is that we're uh, talking a little bit about the Opportunity Update, uh, which is coming on April 25th, yes. which is next week, mm -hmm. on Wednesday, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep. Um, to PC and mm. uh, which will also come to console, of course, mm. uh, but uh, slightly lagging behind. Yep. Uh, however, uh, the console update will be even more meaty mm -hmm. because we bake in the uh, spirit update yes. into that. Yes. So, uh, uh, console, uh, you will get everything that PC gets uh, just uh, a week or two after. And the reason why is because there's a certification process. Yes. And you kind of uh, you choose between either everyone is a little bit later, or PC comes a little bit earlier, and console will actually come earlier in that case because it reduces the complexity, mm. right? Yes. Of releasing, um, so they will they will uh, catch up. Yes. Um, Let's see, uh, do we have any more questions? So Axion CDM asks, are you happy with the current state of colonist management? Uh, 
Well, uh, my first answer that came to mind uh, sounds a bit like a bullshit answer. I'm going to say it anyway, uh, but it's essentially like uh, to a certain degree, you're never really happy with anything because you're always aware of flaws and what can be improved. Uh, but I think what you really mean to say is kind of like, can you guys expect improvements to the colonist management part of the game? Uh, and then I would say yes, that is also one of the areas we are looking into to see how we can improve it and make it better. We are receiving some feedback on that front as well. So, um, Rigel uh, TX, I guess that stands for Texas. Uh, instead of outsourcing to buy research with money, could you reverse that and sell research time for more money? Interesting idea. Yeah, actually. Um, I mean, hmm. It's not something that's been discussed. I think technically it's... I'm not saying we're gonna do it, but um, I don't think it would be a difficult thing like to implement into the game. Yeah, it's actually an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, it's not in plan or anything. No, no, no. Uh, no. To, to add that no, no. Uh, just yet. Um, so, uh, LT uh, Shukra, thank you for asking so many questions. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, will there be more? Uh, Di discrete or direct? Discrete, I think, controls. Um, will there be more discrete? Do they mean discrete or direct? Though? I'm going to go with discrete. Yeah. Direct, actually. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> will there be more direct controls on import slash export, such as number of X material to import export per soul or per five souls? Mm. Um, I mean, will there be? There might be. Uh, it's not currently being planned uh, or part of the the short-term roadmap, but yeah, I understand what you're going for. Um, a sneaky ninja one mm -hmm. asks an another question: With the new game rules uh, and such, will we be able to get the difficulty up to a thousand percent or <laughs> higher in opportunity? And I'm gonna put in a follow-up question of my own: yeah. Are we going to play that uh, game on if stream? If we reach a thousand percent <laughs> difficulty somehow, we're definitely gonna be playing it. Uh, but uh, that was your question. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to reach. 1000 I still think um, I mean the highest you have right now uh, pre opportunity is still I think 525% is still the highest anybody has been able to to get with specific map coordinates and such um, I don't think you'll be able to reach 1000 uh, after opportunity no but maybe later in the game's life cycle else mm -hmm. um so uh, Harlot87 asks, uh, will the opportunity release be sim simultaneous on Windows, Mac and Linux? Yeah. Yes. And also for uh, uh, Plaza, GOG, Steam. Yes. Yes. So on the computer, everyone gets it at yes. the same time. So we're trying to basically make sure that desktop releases happens at one point and then you have both consoles coming as soon as possible afterwards. Uh, Asmo asks, uh, can we have a shift click option to import max amount of resource instead of clicking a lot? <laughs> uh, yes, you might get that. Um, that kind of stuff is also kind of on the table of what we're looking into to try to make the, uh, the UI and interface and everything just more manageable uh, and easier to use. And there will be, I mean, one of the one of the things that we uh, we talked about in the first Q&A mm. was UI improvements, colony uh, yeah. overview, and uh, that stuff is still yeah, in yeah. the pipeline. Yeah, and but it's uh, a broad, very broad section. Yeah, and yeah. that will come later. Yes. Um, but it's very much in the pipeline mm -hmm. uh, still. Um, let's see... Um, when are you pl uh, Soros hot dogs? It's a funny name. When do you plan on releasing it? As you can see up uh, up there, uh, the opportunity update will come out on April 25th mm. to PC mm. uh, and like kind of all computer platforms. Yes, desktop. Uh, desktop and all uh, and the consoles will receive it shortly thereafter. Mm. Uh, and in that update, will also include the spirit improvements. Mm. Uh, that uh, is already out uh, on PC. Just kind of would like to just take the chance to mention that when we say like console shortly, soon, etc. 
Uh, the reason that we're kind of not committing to a specific date is because of like certification processes and stuff, a lot of things not being entirely within our realm of control either. Uh, or, well, it kind of is, but sometimes basically the console uh, holders are the ones that notices issues in our submissions and they will tell us, no, you can't release. We have to book a new slot where you have to submit our uh, game builds again, etc. to get it out there. Um, and if we were to commit to a firm date, we would actually have to like, put a lot of padded time into the plan and basically take a release date where we go like, okay, so let's say that we might fail three times, then we can release at this point. Uh, but by basically saying soon, shortly, etc., we're not committing to a date and that way we can basically go for the first possible date instead, which is faster. Yeah. In case you guys are wondering how that is yeah. handled on our end. And I mean, our objective is always to get the updates out as fast uh, yes. and to the highest quality exactly. as possible. Without compromising on quality. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, um, uh, another question. Um, thoughts on adding graphs to see water, power and resource uses over past X souls? We've actually been, we've talked about stuff like that, but I can't really say if that is going to happen. Um, but it's been it's been discussed, and we're not done with that part of the game where that would be happening potentially. So we're gonna have to see. Um, let's see uh, which ones we have missed. Um, uh, 3P Music uh, asks, any thoughts on providing heat maps to show areas in which buildings overlap and cause dust buildup that could be toggled when placing new buildings? Well, um, we had, I think if this didn't only happen in my head, I believe we had a conversation at one point about adding some kind of visual filters and kind of to see things from using different filters but it's currently not in scope or anything um, sometimes stuff like that can be pretty easy to implement but sometimes you have a lot of uh, depending on like the, the tech you're building in uh, it might be really difficult to do it uh, so I will have to see I like the idea um, Mini Sparkles has a question uh, is there any plans of taking more care of your dead colonists, like dead people having influence on air, food, surroundings, etc.? Um, huh. Well, no, there's no plans on it. Uh, but that's also an idea that I just kind of like. I uh, really like like as much authenticity in a game as hmm. possible, so I'm always like, kind of intrigued by ideas that basically you try to take things from reality and you try to represent them using in-game rules to make that a gameplay element yeah and uh, like uh, also no currently. Ju just just want to say that as well uh we there are a lot of ideas yeah, that yeah. we really really like yes. uh, but unless we say yes it's in yeah. it's not it's not in yeah uh, and also if, if you guys have uh, uh ideas about mm. the game that mm. you that you want uh, us to implement go to the forums mm. Uh, to the Paradox Forum yeah. uh, sur slash Surviving Mars mm -hmm. and uh, post your your uh, suggestions there. Mm. Hey Mimont looks at that stuff. Yep. We look at that stuff. Yep. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, a lot of the time it proves to be a great inspiration for us mm -hmm. uh, when, when Hey Mimont and when we uh, make the game. Absolutely. Um, so do that. And uh, Nurgle, if you could, uh, if you uh, can post the, the forum um, link in the, in the chat uh, would be awesome. Um, <laughs> fun question from uh, Apollo Zani. Uh, what does a Martian utopia look like to you? Will people ever be able to sleep in parks? Will we ever get a baseball dome? Wonder for Radio Guy. <laughs> I like the ambition of yeah. those ideas. Who knows? I hope. I hope we can do more stuff like that. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm okay. really looking forward to the passages update where you'll be, I'll be able to create this kind of uh, districts, mm -hmm. uh, which I think will make it. I mean, in my head, it's mm -hmm. going to make it look like more of a kind of Martian utopia than it does currently. Yes, um, with with a little dif districts and everything. Absolutely, and I too also kind of want more 
uh, like I don't know domes that just feels more distinct. Uh, I think the idea of like just like a baseball dome, like that just sounds cool to me. Like yeah. I would like to see that. Yeah. Kind of when you zoom out, you see most of the colony. Then you have this like kind of big dome that you can clearly see people just playing baseball in there. Yeah, that would be cool. Um. So let's see. Uh, uh, maybe I can pick one there because yeah. Asmo asks: Is there a way to turn off the radio presenter on certain stations? Currently, there is no way to actually do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. That was it. So. <laughs> no. But I've seen that kind of question before, so I felt it would be good to uh, answer that one. Um. Let's see. So uh, the software samurai asks this is a pretty good question. Will the dome filters stop visitors because of the passages? Oh god. This is where you go. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's one of those like I like before I answer this I don't know. But I think I think I read about it. And I think the fil oh god. No, I don't dare to answer. The filter should primarily kind of... No, no, I don't dare Let, to answer. Let, let's not answer <laughs> something we don't know. Uh, you're you're about, about to find out though. Yeah. Sometimes um. I just don't have the details. Uh, I haven't been playing this build as much as I've played some of the earlier builds before. Uh, um the Ekia 2 uh, uh, asks us to can, can you give us a glimpse about what the next update after opportunity will give us what do you currently feel is missing the most in the game I mean for me right now the focus is right to to deliver on the on the promises mm. that we have made yeah uh, which is of course the top priority yes um, and this is I mean, this is still just the start of our post-release work as well. Yeah. I mean, it's not like things are just going to stop. Yeah. Um, there are going to be more things happening, but um, it might be different types of releases. Uh, frequency might be different, etc. Uh, so. And I mean, uh, uh, for you guys who are familiar with, with uh, Paradox um, and uh, play other Paradox games, you will know that we really like to support our games for a long while mm -hmm. uh, after post-launch. So, I mean, as long as it's feasible to yeah. do so... I mean, basically, as long as people are still playing and buying the games yeah. to a, like, a, a enough degree, I mean, this is, like, we still need to be able to finance our continued work somehow. Uh, but we, uh, we are in the business of building uh, games that we support long-term. We're always in it for the long run. Yeah. That's our plan doesn't yeah. always pan out that way for every single title but that's what we go for <sighs> mm, a lot of good questions um Is there any plan to increase automation surrounding assigning peons of certain traits to certain domes slash workplaces asks count crystal 42 uh Signing peons of certain traits to certain domes, workplaces. Um, not grasping my head around this, I'm sorry. You want to be able to automate the process of... When you say peons, I assume you mean colonists. colonists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of certain traits. Well... No, I don't think there's any plans for this, if I understand the question right, because you say trait, so I assume that you would want to be able to kind of limit, like, people with certain traits rather than specializations would be able to uh, only work in these buildings or something, and there's no... Like, idiot gur gurus are only allowed to work in the fields. Yes. Or something like that. <laughs> so kind of. Um, or if you have another, like, more positive trait, you want to make sure that that trait is being utilized for science, for example, because that's what you feel is important. Uh, currently no plans to automate that, if I understood the question correctly. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Jagtress asks, uh, can you implement a way to select more than one drone to do a task? Um, you very rarely actually have to select the drone to make it do a specific task. Uh, but I know that people want more options to be able to kind of multi-select multiple things, etc. Uh, which we are working on. Um, 
so yes you'll be able to select more one, than one drone uh, but I wouldn't say that you specifically will be able to then tell like these 10 drones like go build on this building for example there's currently no plans to support that uh, I think uh, we have uh, we're running out of time mm -hmm. uh, this has gone very very fast yes uh, well, should, can we take one last question yeah before, sure yeah, before yeah, we yeah. wrap up absolutely um, Now you uh, get that pressure. You should never actually do this because then you see like one question, you go like, "That's not like." Uh, yeah, you want to end enough. on the perfect question. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, when is the Sabaton music pack coming out? <laughs> we did. Everybody's wondering about this. Let's answer this question <laughs> yeah, as our final question. question. It was the one I saw though. Yeah. Uh, uh, currently, no plans to do collaboration with Sabaton for Surviving Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what happens in the future? Uh, but um, if we do more collaborations with Sabaton, I think it's more likely that it's going to be happening for another title rather than Surviving Mars. Yeah. Who knows? Most, most probably. Um, uh, and okay, one last question, which is a good question. Yeah, okay. uh, Nanosphere Five asks, "Do you like to release on Steam or GOG more?" I mean, to to us, it's releases, a releases, a release. Uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, the thing with releasing on on, on uh, more platform yeah. so to speak more is, is always worse yeah for us, more increases for the complexity yeah. which makes robin and uh, hemimont's job harder yes uh for surviving mars we release for both and yeah. and updates are coming uh to both yes and we're very happy with with uh, our uh the people over at God. yeah absolutely they're great so um yeah yeah it's yeah, we there, there's no preference between either no. it's just about the more you get the more complex it gets yes um, okay, uh, guys, I think that you uh, need to go, so yes. we'll have to wrap this up. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for your questions. As usual, mm -hmm. you're an amazing community, and we're yep. so happy to talk to you. For sure. Uh, and we hope that you feel that this was uh, this was useful to you. And we are probably going to have more of this. Mm -hmm. uh, the more updates that come out, uh, the more uh, uh, these types of activities we'll have, because mm -hmm. we really like... Uh, to be able to talk to you this openly and uh, yeah. happy to take your questions. Absolutely. Um, so thank you so much and uh, have a great day. Cheers, guys. Bye.